I'm going to be doing this super easy red eyeliner tutorial. The face is super easy and glowy and clean and I've just got this really simple pop of red eyeliner on with a matching red lip. I've been really into the red liner trend recently and I think it's really flattering on so many different skin tones and accentuates so many different eye colours. I also think the red eyeliner look is super accessible as well because a lot of us have a red lipstick in our collection and I did this look using red lipstick. You can use a cream lipstick, you can use a liquid lipstick, a lot of products would work to make this look. If you're interested in how I achieved this look then please keep on watching. So I finished up my skincare, my skin is ready for makeup, I'm just going to pop my hair back using this like dodgy little headband just because I feel like I have a lot of fluffy hairs right now that are like getting in my face. I'm gonna go straight into foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Cover Foundation in the shade Radiant Vanilla and it just looks like this um, and I'm going to be applying it with my buffing brush from Royal Techniques which just looks like this. Now that I've applied foundation, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Concealer in the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Formula and it just looks like this. I'm in the shade 001 Light Ivory and it's just a really pale pale concealer. I'm going to take a little bit just out like that and put that underneath my eyes and also down the sides of my nose here because these are areas that I can get a little bit of redness and I'll be blending that all around with my concealer brush which is also from Royal Techniques. the kind of shape that I like my concealer to be in just because I feel like that way it brings dimension to my face and sculpts my face a little bit using that brightness of the concealer. Next I'm going to be setting my entire face with the e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder and it just looks like this and I'm going to be using a duo fiber face brush from Royal Techniques. bronzer from um, NARS and I'm just taking that along the hollows of the cheeks here. I'm also going to be taking that shade along the jawline and also on the forehead. I just panned the rest of my NARS um, Laguna and Orgasm duo so I'm now going to go in with the Hula Bronzer from Benefit, I'm going to take that down my neck because I can't go without something on my neck because I feel like otherwise I'm not blended into the rest of my body. Next I'm going to be sculpting the eyes and the nose, so I'm going to be taking this um, kind of angled brush and I'm going to be using the same Hula Bronzer and I'm going to be following the lines down my nose, just slimming it down a little bit and also creating crease in the contours of my eye. I feel like my nose is a little bit too dark so I'm just taking my dirty foundation brush and swiping that down the sides of my nose just to help blend that in a little bit better and look a bit more seamless. Next I'm going to be going in with this really pretty blush here. This shade is called Flower Child and it's just from Becca Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking a highlighter brush from Real Techniques and putting that along the tops of the like upper parts of my cheekbones. I'm not using a huge amount of blush today, just a little bit to bring some more colour back to the face so I don't look very very dead and like too sculpted, um, but yeah I really like taking the blush on the tops of the cheeks instead of down here just because it kind of lifts the face more and I feel like it's more flattering for my face shape, but you can apply blush however you think fits your face best. I'm also going to take a little little bit on the forehead just up the top here and also along the front of the nose here just for a little bit of a glow. Now I'm going to be going in with the highlight and I'm going to be using this shade here called Flexitarian from Colourpop. I'm going to be using an angled highlighter brush. This is Flexitarian, it has a really unique shift and my highlighter brush just looks like this. I'm quite gentle when I apply this product just because it's a cream product. Um, I put a little bit on at first and let it like work itself into the skin. A 
as you can see flexitarian is really beautiful it really has a wonderful wet looking finish so yeah that's flexitarian on the cheek there it's really intense Next I'm going to be taking these two red shades from Rimmel for the exciting part of the look. These two shades are called 107 and 10. This is 107. And this is the shade 10. I kind of want to have a brighter red look but not too bright of a red. So I feel like by combining these two red shades I can get the perfect mid-toned red that I'm looking for. This is a really classic um, perfect red and this is a slightly darker kind of vampire maroon red so I'm just gonna combine those both using my Morphe M165 angled brush and I usually use this for my eyebrows I'm just going to take like one two three wipes from each of these maybe another one of these I hope that's the right color um, I'm really just gonna mix them and guess like how much of each color I would like for my liner and I'm gonna be using this straight on the eyes as though it was a gel liner I find that when I'm using lipstick as eyeliner, when I'm using the brush, I kind of do a bit more of a patting motion after I've applied the initial shape. Just because imagine if you were using this lipstick on your lip. If you were to brush it on with a lip brush, it would kind of sheer out the formula. And I don't want my eyeliner to look sheer, I kind of want it to look bright and pigmented. So by patting it on instead of rubbing it around, I can get a more opaque finish. That is the eyeliner done and it's actually really easy to apply with that angled Morphe brush. I find this eyeliner really creamy to use because obviously they are very creamy lipsticks and the brush was really precise so I was able to get a really detailed easy application. Now I'm going to go into my brows using the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil and it's just in the shade black and brown and I'm going to be just drawing my brows and filling in from the tails and then working my way towards the front. I tried to fill in my brows kind of straighter today. Now that I filled them in, I'm going to be using this shading brush from Real Techniques and that same shade that we used earlier, Flexitarian from Colourpop, and I'm going to be taking that on the brow bone, the inner corners of the eye, down the centre of the nose, and on the cupid's bow. By the way, with the red eyeliner, if I wanted to get this to last a little bit longer, I would probably set that liner using that same brush that I used, just the angled Morphe brush, and then go in with some powder eyeshadow, like a powder red eyeshadow, just to set it. Because this is a cream lipstick, if I get my finger and smudge it, it will smudge like lipstick. So I would probably recommend setting it with an eyeshadow, or you could use a liquid lipstick for a more long wearing result, but I just decided I wanted a really creamy eyeliner today, so that's the one I went for. Now I'm going to go in with lashes and these are the princess lashes that I bought in Taiwan. Um, they're just a flared pair of alternating lashes that look like this. So it alternates between a like thin strand and then the thicker strand of lashes. And I'm going to be applying it with the duo lash glue. So as you can see, this is with lashes on and without lashes on and lashes make a huge difference for me because I barely have any natural lashes. So yeah, these natural lashes do a lot for me. Now that my lashes are on, the last thing I'm going to do is apply lipstick. I'm going to be using both of the same shades that we used for eyeliner. I'm going to take the shade 107 and just dodgily do the perimeter part of my lips mostly in this one, and then I'll go mostly into the center with the shade 10. I feel like by combining these two lipsticks, I've created a slightly darker than usual classic lip. 
um, and it really is just like the perfect shade I was looking for. If you don't really care about like the exact shade of your lip, you can always just go for one, but I wanted it to be like this exact shade. This is what I had in my mind, in my vision. I'm going in with a concealer brush from Nude by Nature and a little bit of the concealer that we used earlier. I'm just going to clean up the edges of my lips so that they are perfect. So as you can see, that is not a perfect line. I'm just gonna stretch out my lip and clean it right up. And I'll just take out my headband because I don't actually want it for this look. And this is the completed look. If you like this video, please like and comment down below anything you'd like to see from me in future. Um, subscribe to see more content from me and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!